difference between high weight and uh, low reps and low low weight high reps, all right? So <clears throat> a lot of times people try to oversimplify things by saying things like that, like, oh, well, you want to tone, just do, um, if you want to tone, just do low weight high reps. If you're wanting to build muscle, then do um, high weight low reps. But that's it's not as simple as that, honestly. And in reality, there's no, reality there's no such thing as just like just toning um what's happening when you're when you're toning is you're decreasing body fat and you're building lean muscle that's what happens whenever you tone um so in reality there's no such thing as just toning so what's better for you whenever it comes to um trying to look better when you're going for aesthetics is going to be putting on that lean muscle so if you want to get if you're just wanting to get more defined, um, you're still going to have to be putting on lean muscle and decreasing that body fat. <clears throat> so I do right now, like I do, um, I'm doing uh, low weight, high reps right now for everything, but that's for endurance. I'm just building muscular endurance um, with that. And that's all figured up. I figure all my stuff up on a percentage uh, base off my one rep maxes. So that's probably one of the best ways to do it. Um, a lot of people use what's called reps in reserve, which is RIR, um, and then some people use RPE, which is rate of perceived exertion. Um, but I like to use the percentage base in order to do that. So you can do, um, like I said, I'm building my endurance right now. So right now I'm doing uh, low weight, high reps, um, but I'm only going up to like 15. I'm not doing a crazy amount of reps. You can go up to 20. Um, but I think you'll find that usually two sets, 15, three sets, 15 is pretty sufficient. If you can go to 20, great, do it, especially on body weight stuff. Um, uh, but I'm still lifting weights. I'm just doing, I'm just doing a lot more reps with that. So I don't know. <clears throat> I, I guess the biggest difference is, is, uh, low weight high reps is not for toning you can still build muscle uh you absolutely can still build muscle with lower weight um how you're going to do that though is not by trying to bust them out as fast as possible with that you're really just going to be increasing your endurance and you're going to be getting an anaerobic exercise and that's that's really about it but if you take that and then you increase what's called time under tension so basically if i'm doing a bicep curl right so if I'm doing a bicep curl and I wanna increase my time under tension, what I would do is, so we'll start from here. Here's the dumbbell. I would lower it much more slowly, usually for like a three second count, go down, back up, power back up. Slow three second count all the way down, power back up. And that's, that's how you would increase time under tension. You can do that with a bench press. You can also increase you can also increase um, the amount of tension that you're having on yourself just by, let's say on bench press, don't go past 90. Don't go all the way to your chest. So as soon as your elbows hit 90, <clears throat> that's when you explode back up. And I know a lot of people will be like, oh man, you always have to go to your chest. Um, that's not the case. Believe it or not, when you go all the way to your chest, there is a split second where you actually taking all the weight off of your chest or all the weight off your pecs, really, even though it's laying on them. Um, it's not, it's not causing them any kind of stress for that split second, right? So some people actually, I know I, I met a guy, he only, he only lets his elbows go to 90. I mean, he's a pretty fit dude. So, I mean, you can go tell that guy that he's doing it wrong, but he's really, he's pretty jacked. But, um, so I mean, there's plenty of ways to, to be, to work with low weight and still increase, uh, lean muscle mass. Now, of course it's going to be, it's going to probably take a little bit longer. Um, it's probably going to be a little harder, um, as far as time goes. And as far as patience, you're going to have to have patience, right? Um, in true honesty, it's, it really is better to have a full on gym to be able to work with because you can, uh, challenge yourself so much more and you can stress your muscles more. Um, you can just do a lot more variations of things, but to get back to the main point, um, that's really the difference there is, uh, with, low weight, high reps, um, it, you're really just working endurance, getting that muscular endurance. Um, if you're doing low weight and you're wanting to build muscle, then 
you need to increase your time under tension. And while you're doing that, you can most likely, you'll, you're not most likely, you're going to be able to decrease the amount of reps you do, right? So you're going to be able to get back down to like 12 reps at least, uh, hopefully 10 if you're doing a lot of time under tension. But you really want to be, in order to get lean muscle mass, you really want to stay within that, uh, let's just say six to 12 reps, no more, no less. Um, I personally like to stay within the eight to 10, um, <clears throat> right in that middle ground, just to make sure that I'm really um, getting everything done that I can get done. And once again, I go off a percentage base off of my one rep max, and that tells me what, what amount of weight I need to be doing for each exercise. So that's what I got for you. Thanks for the question, Candace. You're the one to ask, so hopefully this helps. Thank you.